Hello everybody, I'm Harold with Nature's Friends and today we're going to show y'all how to check a GFCI receptacle. That's a ground fault interrupted receptacle. You'll find them in your kitchens, your bathroom, all your outside receptacles have to be ground faulted. Your garage receptacles have to be ground faulted. So anyway, one of my students, he's out working down the electrical field and he had an inspector said, the ground fault won't, it don't trip when I push the reset on my polarity tester. This is a polarity tester. Okay, and you'll see right here is a button. Right there. Okay. And if you push that button, it's supposed to trip. It didn't trip. So, we're going to plug it into the ground fault. And where this was was in a kitchen. So that, that receptacle should have tripped. Okay, so I'm going to push this. It just tripped, okay? You see it tripped, the light came on, it says the ground fault breaker doesn't have power on it now. Because when it does that, it's, it's tripped, then you have to reset it. Okay, what I'm going to do, I turn the power off. I'm going to show you all, and I said, Coulter, check, make sure it's wired properly. Brand new home. So, he gets there and checks, and everything was wired to the hot side. This has got line side, this is the load side. So this was wired wrong. So I'm going to change it and show y'all how it's supposed to work. So all you do, you find a wire. This one is going to the load receptacle. That's anything downstream. Anything downstream is going to be ground faulted from this receptacle. Okay. This is a common thing that happens when you wire, when people wire houses and a lot of times People just don't pay attention to what's going on. So we always did was we would put wires in a box. We would take and skin the tips of the ones that need to go to the line side of the receptacle. And that way you always knew which one because a lot of times you don't have power on your receptacles to test the wires, so you'd have to ohm them out. So now, we switched them. So on the back of this, it'll say load and line. Can you see that, Marsh? Pretty good, yeah. We're getting older and both blind. So anyway, now what we're gonna do is we're going to plug this in down here. Put power back on. You see the lights come on. So, we're going to push the test button. Lights went off. Lights went off. Okay. Now we're going to push this test button and it trips. So now it's wired properly and it's going to work right. So anytime you're in a kitchen, make sure that if you've got a receptacle, like to your coffee pot not working, because anything downstream and it's not a ground fault receptacle, look around for a ground fault receptacle. Because it'll be tripped, it could be behind something. You can't so see it. So explain to them a, a ground fault receptacle. It's going to have a that. Ground fault has a test, then it has a reset. There you go. Okay, and if you don't have power on it, you can you can trip it, but you can't reset it. Okay. Perfect. So that's and always when you fool with it, make sure you turn the power off. You saw me turn the switch off here. This is my little demonstration board I use, and I'm going to be showing you some other de demonstrations on it in the near future. If there's anything y'all want me to do a video on about electrical, let me know, comment, subscribe to us. Just let me know what you want to see and hit like on our videos. Thank you until next time.